Marcus back here at the Fox 4 Weather Center. I want to actually start off with the very latest on the tropics because earlier today we did receive in some new information from NOAA. So the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the National Hurricane Center falls under that jurisdiction and they updated their hurricane outlook for the season. So I want to bring you that latest information and you might be noticing those numbers have been boosted up just a touch. So on average, we typically have 14 named storms in any given season. NOAA upped their forecast 14 to 21. Quite a range, I know, but 14 to 21 storms are expected. So now above normal in terms of how many of those could become hurricanes. They're now expecting six to 11 to become hurricanes of those two to five are forecast to become major hurricanes, meaning a category three or higher. Now this is the forecast across all of our main basins, the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean, as well as the Gulf of Mexico. This does not pinpoint where a storm could be making landfall. This is simply the formation that is expected again across those three basins through the end of November. So what's the cause behind this elevated likelihood? Well, now that likelihood's up to 70%, but why the bump in number? Well, we've been talking about it for a while now. We're dealing with record warm sea surface temperatures, not just in parts of the Gulf of Mexico, but also across the Atlantic Ocean. That offers a lot more fuel for any hurricanes, any tropical systems that do get fired up. Also, even though we are starting to transition into an El Nino, those strong winds that we tend to see upstairs, they just haven't developed quite yet. They're taking their time. And because of that slow development, and because of those abnormally warm sea surface temperatures, that's the cause behind now expecting an abnormally high number of tropical systems this season. We've already seen five. That's including an unnamed storm, a subtropical storm from January in the North Atlantic. None of us really recall it because it wasn't determined until several months later, but it did indeed form. Thankfully, a wave from land didn't affect anybody. Then we had Arlene, Brett, Cindy, and Don. Don, not only a tropical storm, but actually the first hurricane hurricane of the season as well. So already we are four systems in those numbers that we just looked at do include that number of five. Thankfully for now, tropics are nice and quiet across all of our basins from the Atlantic through the Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico. No formation in the forecast. And